Hello everybody, I'm Jura. I'm going to read you a funny story before Sraganuna. In a town in Calabria, a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Sraganuna, which meant Grandma Wit. Also, all the people in town talked about her, talked about her in whispers. They all went to see her if they had troubles. Even the priest and the sisters from the of the convent went because Sravanuna did have a magic touch. She could cure a headache with oil and water and a hairpin. She made special potions for the girls who wanted husbands, and she was very good at getting rid of rich. But Sravanuna was getting old, and she needed someone to help her keep her little house at Borden. So she put up a sign in the town square. And Big Anthony, who didn't pay attention, went to see her. Anthony. Says Sraganuna, "You must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must weed the garden and pick the vegetables. You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fast the water. For this, I will give you three coins and a place to sleep and food to eat." Oh, Grassy," said Big Anthony, "the one thing you must never do," says Sraganuna. Is toast the post upon? It is very valuable, and I don't let anyone touch it. Oh, see, yes," said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. Big Anthony did his work, and Sraganuna went with the people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and words. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to go shed. And he had food to eat. One evening, when Big Anthony was making the gold, he heard Stragonuna singing. Peeking in the window, he saw Stragonuna standing over the pasta pot. She sang, "Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry, and it's time to stop." Boil in the pasta to fill me up, and the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled with steaming hot pasta. Then Stragonuna sang, "Enough in the pasta pot! I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day." How wonderful! Said Big Anthony. That's a magic pot for sure. And Sraganuna called Big Anthony in for supper, but too bad for Big Anthony because he didn't see Sraganuna throw three kisses to the magic pasta pot. And this is what happened. The next day, when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot, and naturally everyone laughed at him because he sounded so silly. A pot that cooked all by itself. You better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony. They said such a lie, and Big Anthony was angry. And that wasn't a very good thing to be. I will show them," he said to himself. "Someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook, Th- and then they'll be sorry." That day came sooner than even Big Anthony would have thought, because two days later, Stragonuna said to Big Anthony. Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend Sraga Amelia. Sweep the house and weed the garden, feed the goat and milk her, and for your lunch, there's a bread and cheese in the cupboard. And remember, don't toss the pasta pot. Oh yes, yes, Sraga Nuna," said Big Anthony. 
But inside he was thinking, my chance has come. As soon as Raganuna was out of sight, Big Anthony ran inside, pulled the pasta pot off the shelf and put it on the floor. Now let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And Big Anthony sang, Bobo Bobo Pasta Pot, boy is a pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to stop, boy in the pasta to fill me up. And sure enough, the pot bubbled and boiled and began to fill up with pasta. Aha! said Big Anthony, and he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain and shouted, Everyone get fruits and plates and platters and boards, pasta for all at Stravanuna's house. Big Anthony has made the magic pasta pot work! Of course, everyone laughed. But ran home to get forks and plates and platters and boards. And sure enough, when they when they got to Stravanunas, the pasta pot was so full it was beginning to overflow. Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped up pasta and filled the plates and platters and boards. There was more than enough for all the townspeople including the priest and the sister from the convent. And some people came back for two and three helpings, but the pasta pot was never empty. When, when all had had their fill, Big Anthony sang, Enough, enough my pasta pot, I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not blow the three kisses. He went outside and to the applause of the crowd, Big Anthony took a bow. He was so busy listening to compliments for everyone that he didn't notice the pasta pot was still bubbling and boiling until her sister from the convent said, Oh, Big Anthony, look! And pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor of Sraganona's house and was coming out the door. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept bubbling. He took the pot off the floor, but pasta kept on pouring from it. Big Anthony grabbed a cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But the pot raised the cover, and Big Anthony as well, and spilled on the floor of Stravanuna's house. yelled Big Anthony, but the pasta did not stop, and if someone hadn't grabbed poor Big Anthony, the pasta would have covered him up. The pasta had all but filled the little house. Out of the windows and through the doors came the pasta, and the pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept coming. The townspeople began to worry. Something, Big Anthony! They shouted. Big Anthony sang the magic song again, but without the three kisses, it did no good. By this time, the pasta, pa the pasta was on its way down the road, and all the people were running to keep ahead of it. We must prepare our town for the pasta! Shouted the mayor. Get mattress, tapers, doors, anything to make a barricade. But even that didn't work. The pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept coming. We're lost, said the people, and the priest and the sister of the convent began praying. The pasta will cover our town, they cried, and it certainly would have. Has Stragonuna not come down the road home for her visit? She didn't have to look twice to know what happened.
what had happened. She sang the magic song and blew the three kisses, and with a sputter, the pot stopped boiling and the pasta came to a halt. Oh, gracias, thank you, thank you, Straganuna! The people cried, but then they turned on poor Big Anthony. Strain him up! The man of the town shouted. Now wait," said Straganuna. "The punishment must fit the crime." And she took a fork from a lady standing nearby, and held it out to Big Anthony. All right, Anthony, you wanted pasta for my massive pasta pot," Straganuna said. And I want to sleep in my little bed tonight. So start the eating. And he did. Poor big Anthony. The end. Thanks for listening to that. Have a great day. Bye bye.